I had a hard, tough day the whole day and it just didn't come easy. It never comes easy, but sometimes you feel better than others. And today it was just half hard work from the day, from the gun. And um, we had tough conditions, which is the same for everyone, but waves, current, sandstorm, crosswind, yeah, everything, everything that makes a challenge, I guess. And then, as CB said before the start, if it, if it wasn't the, um, if it wasn't a challenge, we should play, play football. <laughs> so uh, it was definitely tough out there today, but very pleased with, with third and uh, now now some recovery before uh, we move on to the next one. But uh, even though I didn't win today, um, Triple Crown is still uh, uh, my main focus. Uh, both Oman and Bahrain is two uh, massive events where you're going to have the best women in the world competing. And uh, it's always uh, an honor to be able to uh, race against the best in the world. So I'll definitely do the next two and I don't think anyone will win that million dollar. I'll definitely do what I can to win either Oman or Bahrain. It was my first uh, challenge event. In, uh, yeah, I, was, I was not really focusing on this race. It's not my main goal of the season. So I was not 100% uh, prepared, but uh, I think in the end I'm, uh, I'm really happy with my uh, sixth place. And uh, it shows that I'm uh, not in a bad shape at all because it was a amazing field uh, so uh, yeah, it's a good sign for, the, for uh, my first Ironman, uh, Ironman South Africa. Was it a tough day today? It was a really tough day. Uh, I think uh, everybody will agree with that. Uh, it was uh, The swim was uh, choppy really hard. Uh, the bike was uh, crazy windy. Uh, I think I've, I've never seen a race like this. It was, uh, you had to keep pushing the whole time and, and uh, that's also why, uh, why the gaps were, uh, were so big on the bike. But uh, I think it was not too bad for me. Uh, I could make up quite a bit of time the first half of the bike, and then the second half I, I struggled as well with the headwind. But uh, yeah, in the end, uh, I think I, I'm I'm really happy with the with the bike. And then uh, yeah, I jumped off the bike. You never feel great, but uh, I think I had one of my best runs ever. Uh, together with uh, in Echo, I was uh, battling the whole time. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> was a good day. What's next for you? Yeah, so next race is Ironman South Africa. That's my, uh, yeah, it's a bigger goal, and uh, yeah, the main the main goal is just to qualify for uh, for Hawaii. Then it's done early, uh, so uh, I just need to make sure I've, I've finished the Ironman. And uh, yeah, but that, that's not my goal, just to finish. Uh, I try to do uh, a decent performance. That, that I wasn't gonna, gonna gonna be good today, and I tried my best, but it was one of those. I, I wasn't breathing hard at all, but I. I was pushing as hard as I could on the bike and, and I, I was only getting past, I didn't, I didn't pass, I think I passed one or two people. So it was, yeah, very hard day. Um, I got on the run and I basically I basically got around it and, and survived and, and took the workout because I didn't want to come to Dubai and, and pull out and, and take nothing from it. Um, so, at least I got, so at least I got around the race and I got one of the legs. Um, yeah, as I said, pretty, pretty disappointing, but I think, um, I know I'm in good shape and I know I'm much better than that. I think my average power was 275 watts and in most of the races last year I was I was more like 325 so way off way off where I'm meant to be but training's going great so I just have to be philosophical with it and, and believe that next time it'll be much better.